Hey everybody, welcome back to Sporkle Saturdays. I am yours truly, Pat Dooley. And each and every week uh, for the last, uh, going on, f what, four months now, uh, I have been going to Sporkle.com on Saturday afternoons, pulling up a uh, popular wrestling-related quiz, uh, and I've been giving it my best shot. I'm actually on a two-week, 100% streak, uh, and, and four out of the last six. Uh, we're not going to talk about the two in the middle, because those were not great. Um, I'm hoping for a good result this week, uh, as I do WCW World Heavyweight Champions. Uh, looks like this goes back to 1991, which means I don't have to worry about all the NWA title reigns before. This is just when it became the WCW title in January of 1991. Um, it also looks like, with 63, uh, a, a score out of 63, uh, I don't think there were 63 unique champions in WCW, uh, so I think if I guess Ric Flair, it's going to give me, you know, all, whatever, all 12, 13 of his uh, WCW reigns, um, you know, Booker T is going to give me five times, five times, five times, five times, five times, um, you know, so I'm cautiously optimistic about this one. Um, not off to a great start with this recording. Uh, this is my fourth try at recording this intro. Uh, the first time I did not have Sporkle open for you guys to... I mean, I had it open, it just wasn't displaying uh, in OBS. Uh, the second time, I did not have my microphone plugged in. The third time, I did not have my microphone turned on in OBS. Uh, this is the fourth time, everything seems to be fine. I've got levels on this screen, I've got the quiz on this screen, I've got past results on this screen. I think I can do it this time. So I'm going to click play quiz, and I'm going to try to name the WCW champions in less than eight minutes. This quiz was created by Casa, uh, who I don't think I have done one of their quizzes yet, uh, but they have had 210,000 plays on this one uh, so far. So congrats on that, Casa, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start it. Okay, I mentioned Flair, that's going to give me a bunch. Okay, that's going to be eight. Uh, right, some of them were NWA. Hulk Hogan had it a bunch of times. Booker T had it a bunch of times. Uh, okay, 1991. Is that when Luger won it? Yep, 92 was... Uh, in February, was that... Uh, no, Barry Wyndham was the, the... Whatever, the big old champion. Um, shoot, okay, well, Sting won it. Okay, he was the one that won it in February 2092. Uh, um... Okay, uh, shoot, why why am I blank? Okay, so we're going to skip ahead to when I was for sure watching. Uh, Hogan winning at 94, uh, lost it to the Giant, um, who, November of 95, Savage won it then. Uh, July of 98, uh, that was Goldberg, Nash, Hogan, Flair, Jarrett. No, nope, that was too early. But it, it did give me a bunch of them. That's just not who I thought it was. Uh, 99. April of 1999. Uh, Arquette won it in 2000. Uh, Scott Steiner won it toward the end. Oh, it's also got the uh, the WWE uh, title. Run. So Jericho. Um, uh, the Rock. Um, Booker lost it in July. Who did he lose the title to for six days? I don't have any guess. Vince McMahon? No. Austin? What do I have no memory of him losing the title for six days in 2001? Would have been right in the middle of the invasion. Uh, Alright. So September 25th, 2000. Did Hall ever have it? He didn't. No. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to do better than this. Okay, so uh, did, Sid had it a couple of times. Um, okay. Flair, Luger, Sting. Dusty ever had it? No. He had the NWA title, but not this version of it. Uh, oh, was it Tatsumi Fujinami that won it? No, they're not counting that. 92. 
1992, who beat Sting? Oh, Vader, I think, right? Yeah, there we go. And then Vader lost it for a couple of months at the end of 92. Who beat Vader? Okay, so I need late 92, and then I've got everything up until April of 99, and there's two title reigns in 99. Oh, I know Brett had it a couple of times in 99, but that was at the end of the year. Uh, Vin Vince Russo booked himself to be champion. Yeah, that's that one that was uh, at the end of uh, 2000. Hmm. 2001. Oh, DDP had it a couple of times. I have three left. August 92, January 2000, July 2001. So who beat Brett in January of 2000? And then lost it to Sid eight days later. Oh, he didn't lose it to Sid. He jumped to the WWF. It's Chris Benoit. He had the title for a day. And then, yeah, he won it on pay-per-view. And then the next night on Raw, him, Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko, and Perry Saturn showed up on Raw. Um, so August 1992, July 2001 are the only ones I need. Um... Who won the WCW title in 2001? I don't remember Booker losing it at all during that period until he lost it to The Rock. It wasn't Austin. We already established that it wasn't. Did Kurt Angle win it? It was Kurt Angle. I vaguely remember that now. Uh, so, August 1992. Somebody beat Vader and held the title for four months. Almost five before losing it back to Vader. It was their one and only reign with the title. 1992. Was it Rick Rude? Rick Steamboat? Oh! Ron Simmons! There it is, 100%. Uh, average score is 82. All right, three weeks in a row with 100%. Uh, I will not complain about that. I was real nervous there. Um, I don't know where I pulled Kurt Angle from. I don't know where I pulled Ron Simmons from, but I'm glad that I did. Because um, I would have totally kicked myself when I saw those results at the end. Especially Simmons. Maybe Angle, not so much. Uh, but yeah, so three weeks in a row at 100%. I will take it. Um, definitely helping boost the, uh, the overall average. Um, so yeah, I guess, uh, since I got, you know, time left over, it thought it was going to take me another two minutes and 15 seconds to answer that. Uh, I will be back next week with another, a very similar quiz. Uh, one that I predict I will do worse at, uh, which is where I'm going to be naming every United States champion. So... Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked at that quiz yet. I don't know, you know, the expanse of time it's covering. Uh, but I do think that it is covering, like, NWA to modern day. I don't know where the cutoff is. I don't know if the quiz has been updated recently. I don't know how far back it goes. Um, but it is... Uh, I, I suspect it will be a challenge, and I suspect I will miss some. Uh, so I think, I think my streak will end with three. But only way to know for sure... Uh, is to join me uh, in seven days. Uh, you can also join me, uh, hopefully by this point, uh, I'm recording this a few weeks in advance, uh, hopefully by this point we will have announced the date for the first Crush Live, uh, which is FXE Wrestling's live show. Um, it's the, the training academy that I went to to learn how to be a wrestling announcer, uh, commentator, interviewer, and creative. I'm the creative lead now there. Um, and, um, we, you know, we've got a really good show put together. Um, we've got a great venue lined up. Um, 
but there's some construction that needed to be done. So I'm not sure at this, at the point, at the time I'm recording this, we have not yet announced the date of the first show. Hopefully we will have done so. Uh, and I can include it in the show notes here, or maybe just as like a pop-up text. Um, I am also the ring announcer for the Southern Wrestling Federation, uh, which is an independent promotion in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Uh, so I'm there every Friday night. If you are in the area, feel free to pop by and uh, say hi. Uh, they put on a really fun show each and every week. Uh, so yeah, FXE, SWF, Sporkle Saturdays. Um, and I try to include some other random uh, content every once in a while here. I did uh, when uh, Fight Forever came out. I did a, a, a day one stream on that. Uh, just, you know, fun stuff. Pretty much all wrestling related, but you never know uh, where life will take us. Um so in the meantime, I will be back next week with that United States title quiz. Uh, hopefully you will join me then. Uh, if not, hey, I'm going to be here anyway, so feel free to swing by if you like. Uh, otherwise, you'll have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you next time.